All right, in this video, we're going to be going over this problem that has to do with the rate at which vehicles arrive at a certain toll plaza. So let's go ahead and read the question. So it says from 5 a.m. to 10 a.m., the rate at which vehicles arrive at a certain toll plaza is given by this function, where T is a number of hours after 5 a.m. and A of T is measured in vehicles per hour. Traffic is flowing smoothly at 5 a.m. with no vehicles waiting in line. So the first question we're asked here is, Right, but do not evaluate an integral expression that gives the total number of vehicles that arrive at the toll plaza from 6 a.m., so that's t equals 1, to 10 a.m., t equals 5. So the important bits of information we can pick out from this question are that we want to write but not evaluate. So remember that when you're taking this AP test, you're kind of strapped for time sometimes. Make sure you're you're reading the problem so that you're not actually doing any extra work. Uh, write but do not evaluate an integral expression that gives the total number of vehicles that arrive at the plaza from t equals 1 to t equals 5. So we know that we're going to be giving some sort of integral, right? And then we also know that the bounds of the integral is going to be from t equals 1 to t equals 5. So we can go ahead and add that to our expression as well. Now, remember that the equation we were giving this given this a of t is the rate at which vehicles arrive. We want to know the total number of vehicles. So since this is giving a rate, if we take the integral of that, that should be giving us the number of vehicles. So we can go ahead and just plug in our a of t like that, and then make sure to add in that dt. And this should be our answer for part a. Uh, we've got our bounds, we've got the actual integral, we're integrating the rate at which vehicles arrive to get the total number of vehicles, and then we have our dt at the end. Moving on to part b, saying find the average value of rate in vehicles per hour at which vehicles arrive at the toll plaza from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. t equals 1 to t equals 5. So in this problem, we're going to want to use what's called the average value formula. So Remember that we can get the average value of a function by using this equation 1 over b minus a and then the integral from a to b of some rate. Okay, So if we set this up using the variables that are provided for us within the problem, we, it will look something like 1 over 5 minus 1. Because remember that our b in this case is 5 and our a is 1. Okay, Then we want to take the integral from 1 to 5 of the rate. So that would be that 450 sine 0.62 t t. Um, and since this is a calculator problem, go ahead and just plug this into your calculator. Make sure you're in radians mode. So um, do not do this by hand. Once again, you're just going to be wasting time. So the average rate is going to be about 375.537 vehicles per hour okay make sure you're including units as well so in the problem we're told that the average value of rate is going to be in vehicles per hour so we can go ahead and add that as our units so that we don't just have some random number as our answer and then also remember that you want your answer to three decimal points this is just an ap quirk that they want you to do so make sure that you're rounding correctly and you're not just you know saying oh well let's say 360 376 vehicles per hour blah 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 no you want to make sure you're doing it to three decimal places next question is the rate at which vehicles arrive at the toll plaza at 6 a.m so t equals one increasing or decreasing give a reason for your answer so now we're actually looking at the rate of the rate. So we're actually going to be finding the derivative of our rate. So why would I be doing that? We want to determine whether the rate at which vehicles arrive at this certain time is increasing or decreasing. So that should signal to you, okay, we're taking another derivative. So what we're going to be wanting to do here is we're going to be want to find the derivative of a of t at 1 because that's the t that's being passed in as our variable. Once again, just go ahead and plug this into our calculator. Let's not do this by hand. So we're going to get 148.947. And so that should give us the indication that it is increasing. Why is that? Because a prime of 1 is greater than 0, 
the rate at which vehicles arrive at the toll plaza is increasing. Make sure you have all that information inside of your answer, okay? <clears throat> you want to mention that it's a prime of one, it's greater than zero, and that it's increasing. If you just provide this information here, they're not going to give you the full points. So make sure you have that justification as well, that the rate at which the vehicle is arriving is increasing. All right, next question. A line forms whenever A of T is greater than or equal to 400. The number of vehicles in line at time T for A is less than or equal to T is less than or equal to 4 is given by this equation, where A is the time when a line first begins to form. To the nearest whole number, find the greatest number of vehicles in line at the toll plaza in the time interval that was previously mentioned. Justify your answer. What this sounds like we want to do here is use what we call the candidates test. So this is a method where we can find the absolute maximum of a continuous and differentiable function defined over a closed interval. So the first thing we want to do is find all the critical points of the function, and we are going to be doing this with the first derivatives test. So what this means is we want to set the derivative of our expression equal to zero. And that will give us the peaks and valleys of our equation. This should make sense because when the derivative is zero, right, so the rate is zero, that's a minimum or maximum, okay? So we want to find all of those points. What is the derivative of n prime of t? Well, it would be the derivative of this here. So what we can do is we can just get rid of that integral. So we get a of, of t minus 400. Then remember, we're just saying that equal to zero. So now if we add 400 to their side, we get a of t equals 400. We use our calculator to determine when that happens. And that will be at t equals 1.469-ish. And then also when t equals 3.597. Okay, so we have these two times at which the derivative is equal to zero. We, we also want to evaluate the function at the end of its domain. So that would be when t is equal to four, because that might be a maximum. Our minimum is actually going to be this first t that we evaluated, because that's the first point at which there is greater than or equal to 400 vehicles in line. Okay, so this is our min, this is our max. So we plug those into our equation. So we plug it into n of t is equal to a of t, a of x minus 400, v of x. So since this is the min, we can also call this a. Okay, so for the first number, so n of 1.469, if we plug that in, it's going to be from 1.469 to 1.469. Hopefully you can guess what this is going to equal. This is basically just going to equal zero. So probably not going to be when the greatest number of vehicles are in line, but you never know. Okay. Move on, moving on to the next t, we get n of 3.597. So from 1469 to 3597 of x minus 400 d of x. For this one, we get that our value is around 71.254. And then we want to evaluate the endpoint of our interval, which is at time t equals 4. So from 1.4694 a of x minus 400 d of x is equal to 62.338. And those are our three candidates. So you can see here, if you rank each of these answers, you're going to get that the greatest number of vehicles is this number. It happens at t equals 3.597. So since 71.254 isn't really a number of vehicles, we can go ahead and round it down and say 71. So 71 vehicles is our final answer. So hopefully this helps you out with this AP calculus problem. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. 
and I'll get back to you and I hope you have a great rest of your day.